Hello again everyone and welcome back to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop. Today's video is going to be a continuation on our series on Access SQL or SQL. More specifically today I'm going to get into subqueries and the way that Access really helps you organize your data by using subqueries. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hop out into our database here. And I just want to show you, I've got this report one here that we've uh, designed off of a query that um, I've, I went ahead and took this query that the report was based off of and I built it. I just copied the SQL view here. I just copied all of this and I pasted it all into its own query. And as soon as my computer responds here, I'll show you that. Do, 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 do. Come on, computer. There we go. Okay, so I threw that into this query that I've called query customer address report. And I just basically went into the SQL view and pasted what I had for the report. And then I went to the report here and I just went to the record source. After I saved that query, I just selected it from the record source. And that's how you can actually um, use a query that you store over here in your queries section. So I've got this query customer address report that's been saved with all the query information that I need for the report. Okay, and then I just select it from as the record source. And now my report is based upon a query that is stored. And now I can actually reuse this query in other locations. So maybe I want to build a, a form off of this query. Okay, or in this particular case, what we're going to do now is I'm going to make another query and utilize this query customer address report as a subquery to that query. Now, the other thing I've done to set this up is I've created another query called query contact phones. And this has all of the phone information in it as well as an email address. Although you can see there's really no email in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just remove the email part. I don't know why I still have that in there. Okay, so I've got the phone number information, and in this query, since I already had it all done up for me, it's got the address information, and rather than trying to rewrite a whole new query that grabs all of this information and basically you know, goes into the design view and redesign all of this, I might as well just reuse a query that already exists. And that's what subqueries are so good for. That's how Access really can help you out. I've already got this query that gives me all the address information, including the address type, the customer name, and the address line one, line two, city, state, zip code. And I can have another query over here that has the phone number information for my contacts. Now, if I want to get a query that combines all of this data together, I don't have to essentially rewrite both of these two queries to combine it into one. Instead, what I can do is I can go and create a new query. And I'm just going to use the query contact phones and address report query. And we're going to be able to use these in order to make one big query. Now, I do have one obstacle that I kind of wanted to show you here. Remember that whenever you are joining two queries or two tables together, you need to have a foreign key primary key relationship between them. And if you look at the data that these two queries provide, there isn't anything. There is no um, underscore ID and ID fields. So we need to look through these two queries and figure out where that relationship resides. And if we look at them, the table one contacts table has a customer underscore ID and that relates back to the table one customers ID field. Okay. So they're not exposed in our queries. Okay. They're not part of our select statements as of, of our queries. I'm just going to show you here. Our select statement doesn't have that ID field here from table one customers. It only has the customer name, attention, address line one, line two, city, state, zip code, etc. So it doesn't show, it doesn't expose this ID field from table one customers. And the same thing with the, with the query contact phones. That customer underscore ID field 
doesn't exist down here as part of our fields that we've selected. So what we need to do is we need to expose these two fields as part of those two queries so that in our third query here that's going to join the two together, we can have those items as something we can select and join together on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this query because we need to make our changes and save them before we can go in and make a third query. So I'm just going to go ahead and add customer underscore ID to this query. Let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to go to query customer address report and add the table one customers ID field here. There you can see it there. Let's go ahead and save that. And now when I go to create my, my third query that's going to combine all this data together, I'll add those two queries in and we'll see that we have customer ID and we have the ID field. So now I can just join on those two things. Okay. So make sure you understand that, that you need to have, even though we have two queries here and these two subqueries are going to be joined together in this query, we need to still have that foreign key to primary key relationship established. And I just want to show you here what's going on in the background with the SQL language. If I open this up in SQL view, you'll see that we are interjoining on query contact phones and query customer address report and in our on statement we're using customer underscore id to the id field so this is our inner join is going to go ahead and inner join the fields from our query names so it's really treating these queries as if they were tables of data and that is exceedingly helpful. That is really, really helpful because now we don't have to go through and grab all of this code here that does all of this select and from and inner joins and et cetera, et cetera, from both of these two queries and try to figure out how we're going to combine all of this and all of this into one query to make up this third query. That would be really complicated, really complex. Instead, Access offers us the solution of saving those queries that give us little bits of information that we need, okay, in those two queries, and we can actually combine them together into one just by using the names of those saved queries. That's really, really, really helpful. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and go back into our design view. And I'm going to go ahead and add these fields as I want them. So I'm going to do customer name, first name, last name. Let's do a uh, phone number, phone type, address line one, line two, city, state, zip, and access uh, address type. So there we go. We've got all of these fields combined together into one query. And now if we take a look here, uh, oops in our view here. There we go. So we've got the customer name, the first name, last name, phone number, phone type, the address information, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so there we go. That's a way that we can use subqueries, these two queries that already exist, and use them inside of our query that we're building here to really help kind of compartmentalize our data and save it. One other thing I wanted to show you, and this is really the reason why this is so handy. Let's go ahead and call this, I don't know, query customer info or no contact info. Yeah, okay. The reason why I wanted to show you this, this is so handy. We've got this query customer address report query that has this information in it that this report here is reliant on, but I can still open this report that is based upon that query. And I haven't screwed up anything. I have I didn't have to go in and rechange the query too much. I did obviously have to add this uh, customer's underscore uh, this customer's ID field in order to expose it, but it didn't screw up my report. Okay. My report is still based upon this query. And I as long as I don't mess up any of the fields that this report is based upon, then everything is going to be fine. I'll just show you here in the report in the design view. We've got the customer name field, address type, uh, attention, address line one, line two, 
etc. So all of this information is still valid when it's based upon this query here that we've designed. Um, we just added this one field and that didn't screw with the report. It would have if we would have removed one of these fields, like if I took out the city field that our report is based upon here, then that would have caused a problem and an error in our report. So be careful. If you are going to be making any changes to queries, make sure that you understand the relationships uh, that that query might already have and that you're not going to mess around with them. Okay, and that's really why it's good to have, a, you know, sub queries, because if I really wanted to, I could make a new report off of this query contact info query, and I didn't screw around with this uh, this, this query customer address report at all. I didn't break anything in the process. Okay, that is how Access helps you with subqueries by really helping, uh, you know, breaking it down and making it so that you can use the query names in your query your secondary queries um, without having to um, basically recreate the wheel here. We can use the query that already exists to help us get the information that we need. When you're dealing with SQL Server and MySQL, there's another form of subqueries where you actually do include those queries inside of your primary queries. And in a lot of cases, that helps with performance and so because of that, because there is such a performance increase when you include subqueries as part of your primary queries, I want to show you that um, so that you can understand how to do subqueries as they would exist if you were working on SQL Server, MySQL, or Oracle. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in the next video. I do want to warn you, though, it is much, much more complicated, but this will kind of help you understand some of the principles that will be applied when we start to do some of that subquery work.